Okay. Thanks for your patience. I'll come, come sit down. In. Right along here. I appreciate that. I'll make myself comfortable. Here, here. Make sure we're all on the camera Hello? here as well. Let's see here. Everyone's featured? <laughs> okay, my name is Binium. Binium? Yes. Let me get your, uh, your name. You are? Arsh. Arsh? Yeah. I was going to guess that. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Arsh. Nice to meet you. Charles. Charles? Nice to meet you, Charles. Do you guys usually express um, envy at your beard? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes? I'm pretty proud. I'm yeah. proud of it, so okay. I'll take care. You have a good beard as well. I appreciate it. It's one of those things I haven't really cared about, but like when God comes and says, man, I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for you. What yes. size curler do you use in your hair? Oh, there's not one big enough for it, I no. assure you. <laughs> What's your name, brother? My name's Nick. Nick? Yes. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. I'm Kira. Kira? Mm -hmm. I'm Neha. Neha. Yeah. This is like a multicultural group here. Yeah. I love it. Arsh? Yeah. Nick? Charles. Oh, Nick. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Charles. Neha. 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 And Kira. What's it like to be the minority here? I don't think about it much. No. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to choose a number between one and fifteen. Seven. Seven. The question for number seven is can one with different cultural values or different cultural norms um, experience integrity? We should first of all start off by defining integrity, shouldn't we? Yes. Okay, so any thoughts on what integrity is from you guys' perspective? Uh, I think there's context. The context kind of matters for yeah. integrity, but as a broad statement, I like to think integrity is doing what's right when people are not looking. That's having integrity. Okay. So I hear in there like values, like what's right, what's wrong kind of thing, even when no one's watching. Is it possible to have integrity then when, um, I guess another way of asking it is, is it possible to have integrity if you only have it when people are watching? Impossible. Because? Uh, I think like a big part of integrity is, is the unseen. It's being true to yourself regardless of who's there or not, if there's an audience or if you're just doing something on your own. Yeah. It's like, it's owning your truth kind of. It's like you should be with your own energy regardless of whoever's there or whoever there isn't. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a good one. Any other thoughts on integrity? You agree? Yeah. Cool. May I throw a couple of other uh, considerations for integrity? Uh, what importance does consistency play when one is pursuing integrity or exhibiting integrity? You were saying when no one's watching, for I sure. think a big part. I think, uh, I think having integrity kind of goes in line with being consistent. Gotcha. If you're inconsistent, you're out of integrity. Gotcha. Usually. Yeah. Yeah. Out cool. of integrity with yourself, out of integrity with those around you. Yeah. For sure. Hello to the newcomer. Cody. <laughs> I crashed your party. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're, we're doing a podcast now. This is a podcast. About integrity. Integrity, yeah. Right. <laughs> I won't ask you when you mouth is full, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so the question again is, is it possible for one with different cultural norms or values to have integrity? Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Like, I think, it doesn't matter. Yeah, for example, our group, let's say we could say we probably have different cultural norms. Yeah. I think having integrity that in that would just mean like being true to yourself, also, being in a space that allows you to be true with that self and, you know, be in integrity with yourself, be in integrity with your friends, your friends support you being your true self consistently. Yeah, I like that, I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's a big thing. Like, you need to be in an environment that fosters that. And when you're in a multicultural environment or society, you're not always able to, depending on the situation, the city, the environment. So I think it's also important to be in that, you know, right group in order to maintain your integrity. What happens when there's some values that are different culturally and are perceived differently in a different setting? Well, obviously, to some extent, conflict can arise. But at the end of the day, yeah. when you go back to regardless of where you're from or your background or your experiences, we all have basic human needs and we also you know, we we care, we love, we're passionate. It's just of different things. So it's kind of breaking it down and finding that common understanding 
but sifting through the differences, but also appreciating those differences for what they are. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> the party keeps getting bigger. I love it. So Cody's in. <laughs> All right. Um, follow up question then. My uh, podcast is specifically geared to inspiring young men to integrity. In general, do you guys feel? Come on in, darling. I don't know your name yet. My name is Tatiana. Tatiana. It's lovely to meet you as well. So, in general, do you guys think the young men are killing it in the area of integrity, or are they? finding it challenging stereotypically in general finding it challenging yeah why uh, I feel like there's there's so much on young men right now um, I feel like yeah society puts a lot on young men right now and I feel like it's it's confusing for a lot of people I mean I think, it, <laughs> sorry ahead. I mean it comes down to um, feeling like you're once again, like I said, being in an accepting circle of putting yourself in those situations where you are able to own your integrity and not being pushed into stigmas in one way or another, especially as a young man. Um, especially with men in general, you're always assumed to kind of have it all together more so. Yeah. And it's not necessarily always the case. And in those situations, it's kind of hard to express your integrity simply because of the fact that you don't feel you're able to move through life at your own pace. You have to be always on somebody else's dime, somebody else's clock kind of idea. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, any other thoughts? Um, can you repeat the question? Sure. Young men? In general, do you think young men are nailing it in the area of integrity, or are they finding it challenging, and why? Uh, I mean, like like these, these guys said, sure, like there's a lot of pressure on young men. Yeah. I think it's, I don't experience that myself. Sure. And so all I have to say on that topic is like, I do see a responsibility to encourage other young men to battle whatever it is they're battling and, and you know, have integrity. So that's, that's, that's my sense. Like, I feel like I have a responsibility in that. I don't think that men are killing it. I find, I find, uh, I find uh, a lot of men don't really have uh, the role model or say like the public figures that enforce the, the self-integrity of a few certain people, you know, and, and, and yeah, that's just mainly, yeah, I find all the role models now are just not, um, you know, say up to par to what, what they should be, you know what I mean, and uh, it's not pushed as much and it's not as high as a priority, you know, and yeah, I, just, I, I see that a lot, you know, with a lot of uh, younger men especially, and unfortunately older men as well, because they never had that, that base to go from, you know, so, yeah. So give me like, maybe like five tips or suggestions you would give young men who are like I'm interested but I don't know where to start or how to like go about trying to experience it for me what would you guys say a lot of it is I, I think uh, doing a lot of people second guess their first nature you know and, and they, they overthink it too much and I find just going you know just going out of your way to do those things that you think are too much and I find it will help uh, you know it, 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 it's more of like uh, the, the community of it isn't as big so it's like not cool it's not, you know, like I said, prioritized. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Do what you love. Do what you love, yeah. and the rest will follow. It's, and, and when you're a young man, it's not even just men. Like, young women as well go through this, right? Like, when you're young, you're trying to figure yourself out. It's hard to just do what you love. But the older you get, you, feel, you realize that that's kind of the key. Once you start doing what you love, everything else will fall into place. Your relationships will fall into place. Your career, your your lifestyle will, will mold around that. So you just gotta chase chase what you love. Also, I find uh, finding your stance in life. A lot of people don't really have that, especially when they're young. They just follow the general wave and how things are. And once you really find what you value and how you are, then I find that really helps you figure out where you want to go from there, like with integrity. And, and you know, so yeah. Um, I guess for me, something that applies here that I use in different aspects of my life is if you ever feel like you've completed your the work that you're doing on yourself, if you ever feel like you've learned everything you need to know about yourself, then you've failed. You, if, if you have that growth mindset and you're willing to work on yourself and um, figure out what your values are, what's important to you, and understand that it can change, then you're setting yourself up for success. So it's like, as soon as you feel like you're done, you failed. So that's how I kind of view that. It almost sounds like 
change is a part of that thing for all of us in life, ongoing. We're, we're human beings, we're constantly evolving. We're not stagnant. You do want to slowly build those things that do matter to you because you do need that foundation and that stability. But how you view them and what you add, what you remove, that does change. And that's the reality of it. So as long as you're open to that and open to exploring and learning, that's all that matters. I like it. Yeah. Any other thoughts? I have one more question. Mm -hmm. Any questions for me? <laughs> <laughs> What's your goal in, in, in doing these podcasts? And Appreciate the question. Cody. Yeah. Yeah. Tatiana. Okay, um, Arsh? Arsh? How do you spell that? A-R-S-H. Nick. Yes. <laughs> Charles. Oh. What's, what, what's your name again? Kira. Kira. Yeah. I was not going to guess no, Kira. No, it's hard I know. I forgot yours. Neha. Neha. Okay, so Cody, the question, uh, why am I doing this? Um, I would say for me it's a pain point, personally. Um, after living years, sort of like trying to figure it out and just failing and fumbling, I feel this is a really important conversation that needs to happen today, especially for young men. And I want to inspire that conversation and encourage young guys who are trying to figure out how do I even like make sense of how to experience this in my life. And that's why I'm doing this. I appreciate that. I think so. I think so. Yes. There's more people going through these questioning parts of their life than you think, you know, or people yeah. at, in those age groups that they think, you know, and they, everybody thinks they're alone with these thoughts, but realistically they're not. So, yeah. And making it like safe to even talk about, right? It's yep. kind of awkward for guys. I mean, they want to talk about it, but it's just like, how do I even like find the people who want to talk about it? Or the stories we tell ourselves in our heads is usually like very discouraging, right? To say, I'm going to be the odd one out here and no one else is interested and there's no models like you were saying. Right, yeah. So. Thank you so much for letting me uh, be a part of this little session with you guys. I so appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. I, I, I'll tell you, um, let me just turn off the camera here. If you want to follow up, you guys are all okay being on camera? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, great. My YouTube channel is under my name, Binyam. If you remember a bin full of yam, <laughs> you'll find me Binyam, asterisk, A-S-R-E-S-F. -S -S and uh, yeah, you'll see yourself somewhere in the next couple of weeks. Nice. Awesome. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Nick? No. Charles. Oh, it's amazing. An epiphany I'll share with you guys that I had earlier. Someone was suggesting there's probably a difference between the way you show integrity um, in a romantic context and a friendship context. What do you guys think about that? Of course. Mm -hmm. You think so? Of course. Even professional yeah. Oh yes, I have to, uh, considered professional. A lot yeah. of people are very interested in professional. That's kind of like personally, that's where that word comes up. Exactly. Right. Yeah. My uh, my thoughts on that, though, Charles, I think that's backwards, personally, and I think it's backwards because professionally it shows up if you're doing it first of all personally. Mm -hmm. Kind of like your answer, you're saying when no one's watching, that's really important place to start, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so that's why I kind of want to hone in on the personal yeah, display the professional of integrity. Comes it kind of sure. does. But then there's a lot of people who have a lot high level of integrity at their job. Professionally, but that's, that's fake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's, a little, it's hard to say that, though, because when I think of integrity, yeah. for some reason, I think about work. Right. Because it's like, it's not a term I use in my everyday. Good I point. talk about my values, yeah. what's important to yeah. me, what makes me me and genuine. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, integrity is not that word that you, I use. For some reason, I yeah. always assist associated with work. May I suggest like why? Just a thought. Yeah. I think it's because money talks mm -hmm. in That's business, true. right? Yeah. And we really want to make sure that the business world is ethical, you know? We want to make sure true. that we're not going to screw it over. That's true. And it's harder to talk about on the personal level because yeah. that takes a lot more work, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a lot, like, people are really, um, when you define your, uh, your identity, yeah. a lot of people go to their career, right? Yeah. I'm an accountant, I'm a lawyer, whatever. But we rarely get to the point where we talk about ourselves personally think, I'm a person of integrity, and that's what really matters to me. Yeah. And it's a scary thing for a lot of people to um, look in the mirror mm -hmm. at who they really are, because that internal work is yeah. a lot of work, right? Yeah. But you can show your accomplishments, like, academically and career-wise. You've, like, built a company, you've mm -hmm. arrived at a certain place socioeconomically yeah. kind of thing, right? But it's harder to be able to say, who am I really when I do it? It's mm -hmm. like when it's like when you're job hunting and you go to interviews yeah. and they're like, "Who are you?" Yeah. And you're like, "I don't. What am I supposed to Where did say?" I, come from? I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you yeah. need. Yeah. 
so juicy. I appreciate the time, you guys. I hope I see you again along the way. Yeah. Pat Chen, I just want to say I forgive you for uh, interrupting our conversation as often as you did. I'm going to also hold that against you. <laughs> you should have made more noise. Yeah. <laughs> I came over with food in my hands. <laughs> That's all right. All right, you guys. Happy Canada Day. Thank you again. Cheers. Bye for now.